Today we are seeing the biggest collection of vintage cars we are ever going to see in our lives. Today it is raining heaps in Invercargill, so we have to find ourselves a rainy day activity in the town and apparently there is the petrol's head paradise. So we are heading to the Bill Richardson's transport world and oh my god it is huge. Transport World consists of six sheds, which are more like giant warehouses covering 15,000 squared meters. This is one of the most extensive collections of cars in the Southern Hemisphere. And the first thing we're seeing is the really rare Dodge RX-70 Airflow tanker. This is the only one of its kind left in the world. Everything in Transport World is themed to the extreme, and that's even including the toilets, which the guide is taking us to now. The toilets have all sorts of oh car parts God, attached to them. There's also a vintage Betty Boop theme in the women's toilets. We make sure to visit every single toilet in Transport World. But enough about that nonsense. We are here for the cars, and there is a huge variety of it. It's absolutely incredible the amount of stuff that they have put into Transport World. There are cars from every single ages, from the first like Ford A, B, C, or whatever kind of letters they were, to some of the later models. And it's really awesome to see them all pristinely restored. It's impossible to take any bad pictures here. Every car is super colorful, extremely well restored. It's quite impressive that they have succeeded to bring back to life so many of those old dodgy rides. And speaking of old dodgy rides, a massive section of the museum is dedicated to old trucks. Although I don't really have a fascination for old trucks, it's quite impressive to see the amount of them that they succeeded to cram into one warehouse and the massive variety that there is of it. Usually when in the street I just see a big truck and I'm like, oh yeah, a big truck. But when you see them all lined up together, you can see the different use, the different profession that use those trucks. It's really interesting. And it seems that everything car themes is collected in this museum. There is even above the truck section a massive area where they have a massive amount of oil cans. There's even a mock-up of a street of what Invercargill used to look like back in the day. We're looking into a workshop which is meant to be representing Bill Richardson's workshop whose collection this all belongs to. And then we're moving on to our favourite part of the workshop which is the combi collection. These are all the cars we wish that we were travelling around in New Zealand, but some of the cars here you can actually hop into. This museum was created by a guy called Bill Richardson, which started his collection in 1967 and over the years he accumulated over 150 vehicles. When he died in 2005, the family estate came together and decided to create this massive museum in his name. And we keep on repeating how massive and huge this transport world is. It's actually an entire city block, there is so much here. There is more, she says. <laughs> Like we said before, we're not exactly petrol heads, but it's really hard to not be impressed by the huge scale of this vehicle collection. And also there's a huge amount of petrol pumps to look at as well, which actually look more like science experiments than petrol pumps. As we're moving through the collection, we do see some rare oddities as well, such as this interesting hand signal for indication, as well as a few chassis and trucks put together. And then we're moving on to the agricultural side of things with a few vintage tractors and farming machinery. All the farming machinery is a new addition to Transport World, and it's really an interesting addition of that because it tells us a lot about the farming industry in New Zealand and how much everything has evolved. It's impressive how intricate the machines have become and how simple they were back in the days. And because every single petrol held needs somewhere to send his wife to so he can check out all the cars, there is also a woman's section of Transport World and this is the WOW. 
WOW stands for World of Wearable Art and it's a pretty big thing here in New Zealand. It's taking recyclable materials and making something crazy out of it. And that wraps up our time here at the Bill Richardson Transport World. It looks like tomorrow we're going to have to find some more rainy day activities to do in Invercargill so make sure to join us then. Robin, <laughs> what's going on in here? Have you seen my toilet in? That's pretty epic, isn't it? Get out! <laughs>